my dear viewers and subscribers today i am presenting series on my favorite topic time management it is in two clips and this is part 1 i tell my friends that time management is in fact life management so let us discuss this interesting topic my dear friends time is a very unique type of commodity it is scarce and finite the day slips by without knowing where the time has gone and you feel you could not do anything productive you often feel that you have no time for yourself to deal with various priorities and enjoy life sometimes it looks as if our time is in the control of others or circumstances and we find ourselves helpless there are three basic characteristics of time which are not found in any other commodity number 1 time cannot be bought you can buy any luxury provided you have the resources to afford it but time cannot be bought with any amount of money number 2 time cannot be saved you can save your money or any other item for a later use but you cannot save the time to utilize it at a later stage number 3 time cannot be stopped you cannot stop the time it keeps on passing and passing and it can't be retrieved either now the question is how to use the time in order to gain maximum benefit nature has uh, gifted everyone rich or poor with 24 hours then why a person cannot successfully run a small business whereas another person run a country or a group of companies with the same amount of time available at the disposal of both persons every day we come across people complaining about the scarcity of time you will find people shouting and screaming that they don't have enough time to perform a particular assignment or to look after their job family or friends on the other hand you will also find satisfied and contented people who have no problem handling their day to day affairs what is the reason for this disparity despite the fact that everyone possess the same 24 hours allocated to all by the nature the simple answer ladies and gentlemen to this question or solution to this problem is time management time management is secret to success all the successful people of the world practice doing more things in less time through managing the time available on their disposal once a person asked a successful and renowned renowned business tycoon that how he managed this entire empire he replied mastering time is the only key to my success he further explained that the simple secret to manage time has the following three points number 1 decide what needs to be done first or most second forget everything else and number third put everything you have body and soul to this particular activity there are several researches 
to analyze the habits of most successful persons in the world. And you will find numerous books and studies. All these studies found three common qualities in successful persons of the world. Number one, all of them applied techniques to gain maximum from minimum time invested. Number two, they learn to concentrate on things that are important and leave others. Number three, they learn to delegate responsibility. Now it is quite obvious from these examples that time management is the real key to success. It is a matter of concern that despite numerous publications, success stories and all the awareness, still people don't manage their time, even in developed countries. Interesting study was conducted for an in-depth study of the working time of corporate executives in a fairly developed country. The result was quite disappointing as evident from the following statistics. 49% time was spent by them on the tasks that could have been performed by their secretaries. Second, 43% time was spent on tasks that could have been delegated to their colleagues. 5% time was spent on assignments that could have been delegated to their subordinates. Now, see the result. They wasted 97% of their time on tasks or assignment which were not required to be done by them personally. Now, how to manage time? Now we have to find the ways and means to manage this precious commodity. The first and foremost thing is to be serious in self-assessment in a very sincere manner relating to the following points. A. Analyze your current use of time. Write it down on a paper that how you utilized your time on a particular day. B. Identify the time wasters. Just write down on paper what time wasters you found during that particular day. C. Change your habits. Once you are serious in the exercise, you will come to the correct conclusion. You will have to prepare a time log of all activities for point A. Only then you will realize what is going on and how is your time flying. For point B, you will have to identify the time wasters. For example, meetings, telephone calls, interruptions, procrastination, distraction, etc. etc. The last point C comes after this analysis and identification is complete. Now you have to change your habits to be successful in life like many big names in this world. That's all for today, my dear friends. Please watch my clip, this clip and subscribe my channel. We will discuss the time management techniques in the part two of this series. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Thank you.